right in here and today we're working on this pinball machine again so let's just get into it last week I did this to the flipper buttons and for those of you in the know uh, you'll know I've got this bolt pushing against the circuit board here that's well that's just generally a bad idea and I, I can't believe I didn't see that last week so what I did is I fixed it to how it actually should be so if you look at these things here it's got this lip on it so if you put it on here you can see it's it's just too long and this little ring it's got is made to fit in this bolt hole to kind of center it and keep it in the position but obviously the circuit board is in front of the bolt the hole so that doesn't really work so what I did is I took it out to a grinder ground this flush uh, and I also you can see here these little switch ports kind of interfere with stuff so I ground a little notch into the, the top here so let me do that to the other side pieces and we'll show you that oh and I also found my little switch be good stick and adjusted these a little bit so that they actually work right. Here's kind of a before and after if I can get it to focus. See so just take the lip off, take that off. It looks good. Alright, we're back in the garage by the Maslow mess. So I'm working on mounting power supplies. I have to mount that one which will run all the the toys, the 12 volt and 5 volt toys. This is for my logic and maybe some LEDs like buttons and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I think it's like 200 something watts. Got this off eBay. Uh, anyway, who knows? Max mount, but 280. This one's over about 500. Yeah. And this is my 24 volt power supply. I forget how many, it's like 16 something amps. So anyway, I got this one mounted. I made this board so I could just like bolt this into the cabinet so I can work on it in the garage here. But I only had some short four millimeter bolts here. So I had to kind of countersink them quite a bit, but it's on there, it's good, it's not going anywhere. So let's mount the others. I actually wanted that one over here, but I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go. All right, this is our progress. These damn M3 bolts here. I think the bolts are okay, but the, the holes where they screw in, if you look at them wrong, they strip out. So, anyway, a few more things to do. I'm gonna mount this up here because this is like the shortest cord I've ever seen. And we gotta put some power blocks and fuses and stuff. All right, well, hope I did this right. So we got this power supply, which will go to this, which is our 24 volt. We got some blue wire for this. The only problem is this fuse holder, I think is too small. I need like a bigger one that I can run two of these wires to, or three even. Uh, just so I don't force it all through one wire. Then we got this power supply. We have our five volts going here to this power block and our 12 volts going here. I don't plan to use this except for maybe, I don't know, testing stuff or whatever. I don't think these have a lot of throughput. Uh, same with this, this one goes is for this. Uh, ground, obviously, we got our common ground. That goes there. This one is going here, and this is from this one. Need to, like, do a little nip-tuck, but my damn screw-down holder things are not here yet. So, whatever. All right. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't think I'm set. I mounted these. I got this all done. Uh, yeah, and the same principle here this is your 5 volt from this and your 12 volt from this 
so they'll go you know down and out these holes here to bolt it into the machine pretty stable it's got these two screws and there's an L bracket on the other side over here in between the power supplies so all in all looks pretty good hopefully let me know if I screwed something up before I fucking plug it in and blow up the house anyway let's go bolt it in the machine all right got it set in there bolt it in so I can take it back out if I need to a little room around the sides or whatnot it looks like a start you got the surge protector back there Some room here. I don't know if I'm gonna have room to build a box or if I really even need to, but I didn't even think about it till like just now. So I think there's plenty of room right here to put the shaker motor and the, the pinscape stuff here. So we should be good. Had it in there before I did this. So yeah, let me know what you think. Next time, hopefully we can wire up the Penscape and play a game, or at least get it on so, you know, there's fruits of our labor here. But anyway, keep it real. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.